Right, good morning. Um, just thought I'd come back and do another little tutorial. I've got um, a piece of fabric here that I'm going to uh, cut. Now, what I'm going to do is make... I'm going to show you, for those who don't know, how to do a book page. I keep getting asked... Um, you know, I'd like to create a book, but how do I go about it? So now you can start off with a piece of fabric like this, or you can use a doily. I'm just going to level this off because I don't want this too big. Let's just have a look at this. Never throw them bits away, they're always uh, keeping handy for something. This is just an old piece of fabric that I uh, managed to get hold of. It was a large piece and I used to sell it, but uh, these are the scraps. Now, I don't want my book too big. Because um, don't forget, the more the bigger the book, the more you have to cover it. So, I'm just going to go here. I think that'll be big enough for me. I'm just waiting for the postman. I'm expecting a parcel. Now that's not level, is it? <laughs> oh, you've got an arch in mine. So I'm just going to level it off a little bit. It doesn't really matter because uh, these books you can make up with lots of scraps. I mean all your scraps. That's how we can uh, do them. Now I'm going to have that as the inside and that as the outside. I don't know why because it'll all get covered probably. So there's my two page book. I'll make it into a stick pin book. Now what I've got are these doilies, but I don't want the central bit, I want the edging. But what I did find yesterday, if you remember, I found those in my box. So I'm going to use one of these doilies. I might use two actually. We'll see. I don't want it to be nice. Um, no, I might not use that actually. <laughs> This is the whole point because what you need to do is to layer. I'm just going to layer the front cover, I think, and basically using the scraps like I've got this doily um, that I can make an edging with. But first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this picture and then I'm going to build out. I would normally build from outside in, but I'm going to use this picture and build from the inside out because I have no idea what I'm going to use or anything like that. I'm just going to trim this down because I'm going to pad it as well. So this is one of my canvas pictures. I'm just waiting for the ink to come in before I put these back on sale. So I'm going to have that in the middle. So as soon as my glue gun is ready... which it should be shortly. So I'm going to have mine there and then I'll work around that. Okay. Make sure we glue all that up like that. Turn that around. We're going to do this end as well. Now, what I want to do is to pad that before I glue that in. And to do that, I'm going to use some wadding. Well, I need a proper wadding. There we go, I'm just going to get some of this wadding. And then poke that inside. I mean, you can do this any way you want. You could stitch this on if you want to. I'm doing it the quickest and easiest way. So I'm just going to get a little stick to help. Push that into the corners. It just helps pad it out. And then I could, I could if I wanted to put pins in there, you see when I'm working. I don't want too much in. I might just fit that bit in there. That gives me 
and then I'm going to turn that over, push that in. Turn that back, push down on that and seal that in. Like that, just push that right in. Pushing that down and sealing that in there. Now we've got that padded look. Now I can build around that. And basically all I'm going to do, make sure that's sealed in, is like I say, I'm going to use these. So I need to just trim this. Yes, it's a nice doily way uh, as it is. But um, I want a, a certain effect. And therefore you have to cut into them. But we don't waste that one. Um, I have, well, I had another one here in white, which got a nice double effect, like that. go another one we don't waste that's going to go on the outside really nicely so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start now by adding this trim to the edge and we just glue that across it doesn't have to be perfect I tell you all the time. So I'm just going to kind of like frame the whole thing so you can actually see where it's going basically. Now I need to get this well, about right, that'll do. Like that. Now, because this is a corner, I'm going to pinch it on that corner so it lays flat. Like that. Pull that back a little bit. one section out and all I'm going to do to that is cut that off I've even cut that bit I might not cut it out actually I've undone this way they've put it together um, glue that in and then I'm just going to separate that more and glue that around I don't want to cut it off I don't see the point and we'll just spread that a little bit like that. That's fine. And that's made a beautiful edging for that book. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Nice framed kind of edging. And like I say, we do have this one. Um, and so therefore I'm going to put that one on the inside next. Oh, we're just gonna glue these bits down in the corners when I pucker them up a little bit and now I'm gluing on top of what's already there hope you can see this and I don't think we'll need to pucker any of this but we shall see 
what makes a nice edge. We may need to cut this one, but we'll see. So if you can find the doilies, and I sell doilies, so for anybody who's looking for doilies, we sell them, we sell them in, in bundles. Um, you probably get about 35 to 40 pounds worth of doilies if you were to buy them all individually. And we sell them anything between 20 and 22 pound a bundle, so, uh, plus shipping of course, which is 7 pound 80 if you're overseas, 4.45 if you're in the UK. Um, and that you, if it's in the UK, we charge that because that's what the post office charge us. But you have to sign for it. All UK parcels over a certain amount have to be signed for from now on. We've been doing that for a while now to keep track of, um, you know, the parcels basically. <clears throat> And we had a, um, unfortunately, we did have a spate of people saying they weren't receiving the parcels, but then we were proving they'd received them. Um, it was kind of like a group trying it on and it spoils it for everybody. So everybody has to pay the tracking unless it's over, uh, under a certain amount. But shame that, isn't it? Somebody always spoils it for others. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Look, and it already looks like I've several layers. So now what I'm going to do is to um, add this tree. And do you know, I'm, we can put pink in. We can put pink in. So I'm going to put the pink in because we've got pink in the picture. So I'm going to start here on the corner. Move it in, in a little bit because we want to see all the layers. I hope you can see this. I'm going to go inside. So we do have to pinch this together on the corners. See, I can still see all three layers. So I'm going to turn this around. Like I say, in the corners, even though it's a gathered lace, to stop it puckering, pinch and put it in there like that. Beautiful edge. Beautiful corner that gives. Okay. Okay, let's sort this out. Again on the inside and look at those layers these are so easy to do and yet I do get a lot of people we're doing the corner again so we'll have to pucker it I do get a lot of emails asking me and messages um, I'd love to do a book or a page or a, um, I mean it's the same as a wall hanging but I'm not sure how to do it fee how do uh, what you know can you advise me and you know there's no right and wrong way to craft, I always tell people. So just do what you want, how you want it. You know, there is no law into saying you have to craft a certain way. So for the beginners, if you feel like doing something, go ahead and do it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. These don't have to be straight, you don't have to have the same amount down that side. You know... A shabby sheet book is shabby. So I'm just going to pinch that in. We'll do about, on a corner I generally do about three pinches. That gives it a nice, it lays it flat and stops puckering. Same when you're doing a, a gathering a flower, if you're doing a running stitch and you gather that up to make a flower. Put enough lace in. General flowers tend to I use about 18 inches 18 to 24 if I'm using a gathered lace I will use probably um, for uh, 16 to 18 inches of gathered lace so I would use 16 to 18 inches of this on a flat lace like this I would use uh, 18 to 24 inches 
Oh, you'd have to work that out in centimetres. But um, because that will give you a full flower, a, a really full flower. I haven't got one with me to share with you. Um, a lot of the time, um, and it, we don't see it as much as we used to when I started on YouTube seven, eight years ago. We don't see the puckered flowers that we used to. Only those that have not been crafting long will probably do a puckered flower. But they're learning, and they're learning fast. I'm glad to think I know I've had an influence in the... And it's not being beheaded, but I know I have because I've received thousands upon thousands of letters over the years from people, and I do thank them. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is just beautiful. Look at that. Now... I, <coughs> excuse me. I do want to fill this out a little bit. So... Let me see, what can I... I might use this one, shall I? No, 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 no. I'm not going to use that one. Let me just see what I've got, because I do... I might put another... I might put a layer of the cream in, actually. I might just put a layer of the cream in, because it is pink and cream. So, again, I'm going to go round that. On the inside... We do want it shabby, 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 don't we? So where I started that, I'm going to pull that in, like I say, like that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Thank you to everybody that bit, went and bought the doily bundles. Um, the next lot will be... I have some uh, left. I've put them back in the shop. I managed to... Uh, I go through my own every now and again and put some out if people are asking for them. Yeah, um, we get them in every month from my supplier. So it's going to be another two or three weeks before the next lot's due in. Oh, it's beautiful. This is just gorgeous. It will be for sale in the shop. I'm going to start selling um, a lot more of my own makes because I keep getting asked, do you sell this? And I always say, well, not really. I'll, I mean, I do gift a lot away, but I'm going to start selling them more because I know people want to own something I make, which is very, very kind of them. Look, I need a piece to fit in. Oh. Pinch that section in. Yeah, I'm waiting for um, a steamer. My daughter-in-law, uh, Donna, she made us a uh, New Year's Day, I think. Uh, was it Christmas? No, Christmas Eve. I can't remember now. New Year's Day, I think it was. We went to have dinner with them. And she'd done the meat in a, yeah, not a steamer, um, a slow cook. Oh my God, it was bloody gorgeous. One of the best dinners I've tasted in a long, long while. Um, and I absolutely love her cooker. <laughs> so, yours. I've, I've been and bought one. Can't help myself, it's her fault, not mine. Oh, I've just got a little bit here to finish this off. That's good. I'm going to pick the frilliest bit. So I'm just going to overlap that there. And then I can glue this in here. Sorry, I hope you're seeing this. Let's just put that on. And I'm going to pucker that again. A pucker that. <laughs> Gather that up there again. There, isn't that gorgeous? And like I say, it doesn't matter about that section. Because then what we can do is fill that in. But I want another layer on. I need another layer on. And I'm just... 
I'm going to go back for the pink, I think. Sorry, but I absolutely love that. And I need to just get hold of some. Where's my scissors? <sighs> Let's have a look. Now, the, oh, this is just got. I'm going to have that. <laughs> I'm just going to have that. We have this in the shop. It's uh, gorgeous. So I'm going to follow this section now. I think. Oh, do I need another? I'm, I've... Yeah, no, I'm going to take that off just for a minute. I will be putting that on. Will I? Now I'm going to put this on here. Not there. About halfway there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I've changed my mind. And that's what crafters can do. Now, I don't want to gather this at all. Because it's a little bit stiff to gather that. So I'm just going to wrap this on. I'm just going to put it on like this for now. And cut that. It's got all the colours in that uh, I'm using in the project. Just like that. Again, it doesn't matter that this isn't level at all. Let's put this back on. I need that much. And then I'm going to need that much. There we go. Let's put this one on first. Hope you're still seeing this. Like that. Oh, that's just, it's just stunning. Though I say it myself. Again, it's just layering and playing. That is the whole point. Don't matter that that's overlapped there. I'm not fussed about that because we're going to put some flowers on. Now I'm going to put the last layer. I have one more layer after this. <laughs> I've just re just thought about it. Just decided to do it. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to follow the the um, line on the picture itself. Oops, it is it. Okay, I hope you're seeing this. Like that. Again, come into a corner, pull that back. And a couple of tucks in there, like that. Just follow the line. Like that. Again, round the corner. Pull it back if you've uh, gone over it, it doesn't matter. Like so. Yeah, I get asked quite a lot how to uh, do certain things. Um, because things look, when they look at somebody else, or if they've viewed somebody's video and they think, oh, I'd like to do that. but. And not everybody explains properly what they're doing. And so therefore, it looks more difficult than it actually is. And nothing's that difficult. Especially um, when you've been doing them as many years as I've been doing. And I just share it. How the easiest way possible is to do something. Because it's, it's just... It's not hard. Most things look harder to do than they actually are. I'm just going to pinch that. Pinch 
pinch that in like that and then we just cut that off okay glue that little bit down like that isn't that beautiful just gorgeous now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this tassel i'm going to cut the loop off because i want to hang the tassel here like that and then i'm going to use this we also have this chinese braid in the shop as well and it is pretty very pretty now because it's such a shabby look and be, and i'm going over that it just neatens up that edge um i don't want to take away the layering you know because you can overdo it and the thing is don't overdo it i might as well put a bit there i'll show you how to do it when you're doing a braid right what you do is bring the braid round like that so i've just put the braid on and then pinched once that's all you need to do pinch there when you're doing a braid round a corner right i'm just going to get rid of all my stringy bits because it's doing me a din <laughs> okay so again line that up we do that and pinch it once that's all you do line that up bring it round like that. don't pull it tight give it a, you know leave a bit of giving it and then flatten it down like that twisting that Take that off bring that round now I'm just going to chop that because uh, it's not going to see this in a minute when I put the flower on isn't that beautiful look at that just gorgeous so like I say we do have these in the shop I'm only going to use this because I don't want to use anything else I don't want to take away from what we've already done I think it would be dreadful to spoil it um, so we just pop that on there ready made for you you don't have the hassle of doing anything like that And then just for a, I don't know, I might just put that one on. Do I need that one? No, I'm going to do a cluster, I think. Yes, I'm going to do a cluster. Of these, these are my favourite. And we do sell these in packs. These are my all-time favourite flowers. I absolutely love them. like that just put them there you don't need to overdo anything but there was one thing yesterday I spotted in my little dish of tricks I'm not sure if I can find it again now there's a little bead of some oh, let me have a look no it must have gone I don't recall using it, but hey ho. Oh, I might use one of those though. Oh, do I want one of them? Let me have a look. Oh no, I'm going to put that there. Right, I'm going to tuck this pearl because I like the size of it. It's a nice big teardrop 
and I'm just going to tuck it underneath there. That's it. See, that just sets that off perfect. And not that sort. Oh, there's one. I've got a couple of these that I'm just going to use in the corners there. Like that. Press that down and press that down. Yeah. Um, I might just put one little pearl. Uh, oh, I've got a pink bit. No, no, I don't want that one. Yeah, there we go. Got a little pink bead. Little sh iridescent pink bead. Now, let me just see. Because sometimes... I'm taking that little leaf off there and I'm just going to add this iridescent bead just there, like that. Now, what do you think to that? Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, not hard to do at all. And all we have to do then is the inside. But look, so as you can see, I'll just get a couple of pins. Oops, a daisy, sorry. Now these are pins that people have made. Um that um I can just pop in. See? So you've made the cushion. Look at that, somebody put beading on. Uh, oops. Like that. Uh, and I can decorate this as well. So I'm just showing you, you can use your pins like that. So I'm just going to put those to one side just for a minute. Um, because I don't think... Oh, I could. I don't think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to make it as a hanger. So it's now gone from a pin cushion book <laughs> um, to a hanger. I'm going to. I love it. I just think it should. Um, we should use it as. Um, a wall hanging so I'm going to use the same braid like that leave enough to hang it with I just love it I'd rather have it where I can see it uh, to be honest because I just think that is gorgeous. Now, to, I'm not going to seal that because what I'm going to do is, um, let me just see. I have a couple of. Oh, let's have a look. We must have two or three of these somewhere. Yeah. Um, these. What well, I use these tiny uh, doilies. You know, the scraps that are the centres of things. I'm just going to find a couple that match. Like this. And they're great. Absolutely great. For just covering bits up like that. And protecting them. and gives it a little bit more strength like that so that's my wall hanging and I just think that's beautiful I hope you like that it's now going in the shop thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now